Hi all, welcome to our YouTube channel. So we are back again with the most important questions from Prelim 2020 and before we start, so the word of the day is positivity. So moving on to the first question, consider the following statement with reference to financial bill 1 under article 117 sub clause 1. First statement, financial bill 1 is introduced only in Lok Sabha. Second statement, financial bill 1 is introduced on the recommendation of president. Third statement, Rajya Sabha can either reject the bill or amend the bill. Fourth statement, the financial bill can either give as sorry, the president can either give assent, withhold assent or return the bill. Which of the following statement above are correct? A. All of the above. B. One only. C. Three and four only. D. Two, three, four only. So, you can pause the video and mention your answers in the comment section below. So, here the correct answer is A. All of the above. Alright. And one thing needs to be noted here is that financial bill 2 can be introduced in either house of the parliament that is Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha and also it does not need the recommendation of the president. So, moving on to the next question. Which of the following statements are correct? First statement. Adjournment terminates a seating, not a session of the house, but prorogation terminates both. Second statement, adjournment is introduced by the presiding of the house, but prorogation is introduced by the president. Third statement, adjournment affects the bill and the business of the house, but prorogation does not affect the bill or the business of the house. Which of the following statements above are correct? A. One only. B. All of the above. C. One and two only. D. None of the above. So here the correct answer is C. 1 and 2 only. Now the reason being adjournment actually does not affect the bill or the business of the house and hence it can be resumed in the next session. But on the other hand prorogation. In prorogation all the bills and all the business of the house lapse and hence fresh appeal needs to be submitted. So moving on to the next question. In which of the following ma matters, the power and status of Rajya Sabha are equal to Lok Sabha? First, election and impeachment of president. Second, approval of ordinances issued by parliament. Third, both can authorize the parliament to make laws and subject enumerated in state list. Which of the following statements above are correct? A. All of the above. B. One and two only. C. Two only. D. Three only. So here the correct answer is B, 1 and 2 only. Now the reason being, the reason being is that, pa, pa, uh, sorry, only Rajya Sabha is empowered to make laws on the subject enumerated in the state list and this is an exclusive power that has been given to the Rajya Sabha and also this proves that Rajya Sabha in our constitution is not as weak as the House of Lords in the British parliamentary system and also one thing needs to be noted the second exclusive power of Rajya Sabha is that Rajya Sabha can authorize the parliament to create new All India service which is common to both centre and state. So moving on to the next question. Syphilogy deals with which of the following? A. Voting behaviour of the people. B. It deals with the behaviour of the person running for the post of Prime Minister of the country. C. Syphilogy deals with the psyche of suicide victims. D. It deals with collective mob mentality. Now, here the correct answer is A. Voting behaviour of the people. So, moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement with reference to angel investment. First statement, angel investors are focused on reaping huge profits from their investment rather than helping the business succeed. Second statement, they invest in person rather than the viability of the business. Third statement, they invest their own funds unlike venture capitalists who manage the pool money. Fourth statement, Angel tax is a 30% tax levied on funding received by startups from an external investment. Which of the following statements above are correct? A. 1 only. B. 2, 3, 4 only. C. All of the above. D. None of the above. So here the correct answer is B. 
two, three, four only. Now the reason being is that angel investors are actually focused on helping the business succeed rather than reaping a huge prof profit from their investment. So moving on to the next question. If the interest rate is decreased in an economy, it will A. Decrease the consumption expenditure in an economy B. Increase the tax collection of the government C. Increase the investment expenditure in the economy D. Increase the total saving in the economy So here the correct answer is C. Increase the investment expenditure in the economy Also one thing needs to be noted Interest rate cuts make investment cheaper and hence investment expenditure in the economy rises up. Alright, moving on to the next question. What do you understand by the term cold rush? A. A kind of a skin disease in extremely cold region which causes red rashes and dryness. B. A Cold War situation brewing up due to rush among major space power for resource of the moon. C. A heavy rush of tourists before the onset of summer in northern hemisphere. D. None. So here the correct answer is D. None. Now the reason being, cold rush actually denotes competition which is brewing among nations in order to capture the natural resources of the polar regions, especially the North Pole, hence the term cold rush. Moving on to the next question. Which of the following best describes the Brahminical entrepreneurship? A. A top level management personnel of cooperation largely constituted by the person belonging to upper caste. B. Industrial entrepreneurship production strategy heavily biased in favor of urban consumer of a country. C. Successful industries in India following high tech and capital investment strategy. D. A social composition of labor force of corporate India where most of the menial jobs go to the people belonging to the lower caste. So the correct statement, sorry, the correct option here is C. A successful industry in India following high tech and capital intensive strategy. Also one thing needs to be noted here is that the term Brahminical entrepreneurship was actually expressed by the then department chairman Arvind Panagria at a confederation of Indian industry. So moving on to the next question, Cho choose the correct statement. First statement, the Indian vulture is native to India, Pakistan, Nepal. Second statement, it has been listed as critically endangered on the IUCN red list since 2002. Third statement, mercury poisoning is one of the biggest cause for the declining number of Indian vultures. Select the correct code A123, B2 and 3 only, C3 only, D1 and 2 only. Now here the correct answer is D1 and 2 only. Now the reason being is that the declining cause for the Indian vulture is not mercury poisoning. Please note, it is actually di diclofenac poisoning and it actually causes failure, kidney failure in the Indian vultures. So, moving on to the next question. If RBI adopts an expansionist open market operation policy, this means that it will A. Buy securities from non-governmental holders B. Sell government securities in open market. C. Offer commercial banks more credit. D. Openly announce the market that it intends to expand credit. So here the correct answer is A. Buy securities from non-governmental holders. Alright. Now such a pol policy measure which will actually increase the flow of money in economy by purchasing securities. So. That brings us to the end of the video. For, for more information, please visit our website www.asia.com and for more such daily videos, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.